Almost 400,000 households a year in the UK experience a domestic fire. Most incidents are minor, but unfortunately some prove fatal. As a domiciliary care worker, you will be working with a group of people who are particularly vulnerable. Sadly, more than half of those killed in domestic fires every year are over the age of 60. Your service users will not necessarily all fall into this category, but they are likely to have health problems and some may have restricted mobility, which will be noted in their care plan. So what are your responsibilities as a care worker? And what can you do to prevent fires and the distress and damage that they cause? Fires don't start just because people are careless with matches or fall asleep with a lit cigarette, although smoking is a major factor. Fires begin when fuel, oxygen and heat are all present in the right quantities. This is known as the fire triangle. Without fuel, there is nothing to burn and feed the fire. Without oxygen, a fire cannot breathe. And just like a human being, it will suffocate and go out. Without heat, the oxygen cannot ignite. Extinguishers manufactured to EU standards will be marked with their contents and operating instructions in three simple steps. Operation of fire extinguishers is simple, but a few rules need to be followed. Remember the acronym PASS. Pull out the safety pin. Aim the nozzle at the fire. Squeeze the trigger. And sweep. Use a sweeping motion. Your responsibility as a domiciliary care worker is to protect your own safety and that of your service user to the best of your ability. Always check that you have left the service user's home in a safe state. Rubbish bins emptied, cooker turned off and all appliances not in use unplugged. <laughs>